Good morning. I'm a little disturbed. Um, I read I read the Connecticut bill, and it's an act concerning gun violence prevention and children's safety. Don't you love how they use our children to take our weapons? Um, I'm going to leave this below along with another place you can go and read all the stuff that's going on in Connecticut. I'm going to boil it down real simple. I don't care if letters have been sent out or not. This is their law. Their law is you are a felon if you do not register or turn in because they have deemed um, there's a list of weapons, <laughs> a mini 14, my, my, used to be my favorite gun. That is deemed illegal in that state. Um, and if I recall, isn't it made in that state? Yeah. Yep. Made in that state. A weapon made in that state is deemed illegal for the citizens of that state. That used to be one of my favorite weapons. Um, now th what I'm getting to if you don't register or get rid of, because it's now illegal to possess that weapon, and for the manufacturers, if I'm reading this right, I don't even believe, I think this is going to affect the gun manufacturers. I'm not sure, because it, it it states who can own or possess the gun and who can't. It seemed to me that it was only law, for, law enforcement, um, military, National Guard, um, correction officers and people in the government can have these weapons and people keep throwing this constitution out well if you really want to follow a constitution an organic constitution of america then we the people possess all the power and the government doesn't and that would be the organic not the one that's up now because it's a corporate constitution but the organic constitution did have words written which stated that the people had the right it never fell into place that way but that is the wording on it so if you want to stand up and now's your chance stand up with the citizens of Connecticut because they're all felons you better do it because if it happens in Connecticut, a place where they manufacture guns, it's going to happen everywhere else. These people who have not registered their guns are felons, period, plain and simple. And if you don't know that in 80% of the cases in countries where registration started, and I said 80%, there is 20% where it didn't happen, registration led to confiscate, confiscation and then extermination. If you don't believe me, then start reading real history. Become unindoctrinated for one thing. Stop believing in the fucking government and start standing up for your brothers and sisters in Connecticut who can't just go out and politely say, hey, over here, I disagree with you because they'd be, bam, in jail. Their house would be searched. What the hell? People are saying, I've gotten so many emails and thank yous from Connecticut for what DJ Moore is putting together. People are sending me links. I'm just sending to him. He's doing a spectacular job. I, I'm just saying, anybody who is against this, I, you got serious problems because you're building your own police state is what you're essentially doing. You're building an army for them to come and exterminate you because if the police, and you're paying the salary of these people, can have something that you can't have possess, then the whole system's upside down, wouldn't you say? Now, this isn't, I'm not speaking to everyone. I'm speaking to those who seem to be fence riding on this, and I don't understand why you'd fence ride on anything that your brothers and sisters are going through in another state. You should always stand with anybody when you see an injustice, and I don't see people doing that. And I don't even care if it's in this country. When you see an injustice, you stand up and you speak out like human beings are supposed to do. And if we have to take it a step farther, we will. But if you can't even stand up and, and stand with your brothers and sisters, then there is, a, there is a big problem going on. And maybe the fucking fluoride and chemtrails are doing their job.